So guys, today we have some information about Android 12L. So according to Windows Central, Microsoft has confirmed with them that we will be receiving Android 12L before the end of this year. Now, of course, that isn't saying much because, whoa, what happened this time last year? This time last year, we were confirmed to get Android 11 on the Duo 1 by the end of the year. What ended up happening? Oh, yeah, we got it at the end of January. So I wouldn't put too much hope into this other than the fact if Microsoft really wants to go ahead and, you know, fix all their wrongdoings and, you know, correct their mistakes. And then, yeah, we might get it. But I highly doubt at this point with Microsoft, they're very wishy-washy when it comes to telling the truth. Uh, so I'm expecting to at least get this by the end of January. Uh, you know, the first reports that came out was this was going to come out before the end of this uh, month, like the next couple weeks. I'm going to guess that that report now is absolutely nope. It's probably going to come out in the end of January. Anyway, though, we do have our first look at Android 12 L's Windows based system. So obviously, yes, right here, we have the notification bar of the Surface Duo 2. Keep in mind, Duo 1 and Duo 2 are going to be receiving Android 12 L and also going to be receiving some Windows 11 perks. So, for example, customize a uh, notification bar that is symbolizing Windows 11. Now, keep that in mind. It is not going to be Windows 11. It's not going to have Windows 11 functionality. What it's going to have is the kind of like a Windows 11 skin on the Surface Duo 2's base OS. So, and I say base OS, I mean base one UI OS. Um, so it's not going to be actually, you know, fully crazy customizable where you get on there and you're like, oh, this is kind of like a laptop. No, it's going to be the typical Android 12 L, except it's going to be a tad bit different. So, you know, you know, it's a Microsoft device and they can probably make commercials about it and sell it as, hey, listen, we have Windows 11 on the Surface Zero 2 and Surface Zero 1, which obviously is not the case. So it's going to be kind of a little bit of a gimmick. Not too, too much, though, because there are they are adding different features outside of Windows and just Android 12 L. Uh, there is now a pen menu that lets you be able to see the battery percentage and you're able to go ahead and actually open custom apps with a pen. But I'm hoping that they do go ahead and add on to this other than just, hey, listen, we added this little functionality, right? So here's another example of it. And again, this is just the notification bar. And that's what we kind of know at this moment in time. The biggest thing is the notification bar. Like I said before, there's not much things they really can add this customized Windows 11 skin to. I'm going to think about the cuts. Um, obviously, the notification bar. Obviously, the settings. Um, they can add it to the lock screen. They can add it to maybe like certain applications. Uh, you know, kind of like an icon pack. Now, again, can you technically get all these things without Microsoft in any way by just going to the Android store or the Play, Google Play Store and then downloading certain things to customize it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you can literally get Android... 12L's features for the most part from different launchers on the Play Store. So it's it's one of those things where it's like not the actual Android 12L's like software, but you can actually get certain customizable icon packs. Uh, you can get personalization options, obviously Windows based, you know, notification systems all from that said Play Store. So again, it's not like it's a huge deal, but it is nice just to see you know, Microsoft going out of the way. They could just give us Android 12L and tell us to shut up, but instead they're actually giving us some content with it uh, that kind of just adds a little bit extra of a touch. If anything now at this point is just a like, listen, we effed up so many times. Thank you for still buying our device and actually caring about our device, especially with the fact that they had actual shortages when actually producing this device recently. They weren't able to produce enough copies to sell it uh, this device so again they're already having issues with production line and now you know they're hopefully getting this android 12 out out by the end of this year be quite disappointing if we do not see it by the end of this year but again like i said before hoping that is the case so right here we have color palette which i believe okay so this device whatever device this is i'm sorry i was supposed to do it too 
but whether this is running Android 12 L or not, um, color pal is actually a 12 L uh, 12 feature, Android 12 feature. Uh, that lets you be able to customize your icons with your background. So whatever your wallpaper is, you can actually customize your icons with the wallpaper. So I'm going to guess this is actually running Android 12 L at first. I thought this might just be like a skin or something. But it looks like it's not the case. It's actually going to be a uh, 12L, which is really cool. And again, like I said, that's another really cool feature about 12 in this Windows 12 in general. I mean, Android 12 in general, not just 12L, is the fact that you're able to customize so many things on it. It also has a lot of security features, a lot of um, personalization features and settings. So I'll say overall wise, I cannot wait for this. I cannot wait to pick this up. And I actually start using this as my daily driver again, the Swift Zero 2. But I'm not going to be using it as daily driver until this does go ahead and come out. Currently, I'm rocking the iPhone 14 Pro. And that will be the daily driver until we actually see a update to the Surface Zero 2 and 1. Uh, and we actually see, you know, something here. So with that being said, guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.